All right, so today we're doing, I think one of the biggest Amazon hauls I've done on my channel. And there are some winners in today's video, just things I'm really excited about. This is like a big mix of clothes, a lot of home stuff just with moving and being in a new apartment. If you're new here, my name's Taylor. I just moved to Oregon, so I have moving vlogs up on my channel. So it's just been so fun to be in one spot, be home shopping, and getting everything set up. Everything I talk about in today's video is linked down below in the description box. I also have an Amazon storefront and anything that's in my Amazon storefront are recommendations. So only the favorites make it into the storefront. If I'm doing a haul video like this, these products will be listed down below because a lot of them I haven't tried yet. If it is a favorite, it'll be in the storefront. I feel like we have to keep with the green theme here. This is some green powder. I've been on a health kick. I'm just excited to be able to cook, to have all my powders and things back in my life. So this is the Amazing Grass Greens Blend Superfood. I looked at a few different options for like a green powder, just like a daily powder that you can put in smoothies or drink on its own. And this one had really good reviews and I liked that there was no added sugar. And to me, it's not gross on its own. I mean, it does taste like grass, so just chug it. If you're just chugging a green drink in the morning, to me, it was like definitely doable. I blended it up with a little electric whisk thing. You have orange juice or something like that, just putting in like a little splash of orange juice or actually even lemon juice. I should do that. Just like squeezing a lemon in. If I'm already gonna be making a smoothie, I would probably just put this in the smoothie though, just to make it easy. But this had really good reviews and a lot of people were just saying that they like notice a difference with this after a couple weeks, just like having more energy. One thing I love to do is save 5 million Instagram reels of cooking videos and then never make them. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could actually remember that those videos exist and then meal plan and actually make them. So what I've been doing is saving the Instagram reel and then I copy the link and put it in like a Google Keep or just notes on my phone. And then from there, I got this little pad. It has magnets actually, so you could put it on the back of your fridge, but I've just been keeping it on my little like table thing by my couch so that if I'm, you know, laying on the couch, just like relaxing, I can go through the Instagram reels and just write out the actual ingredients that I need to make that. So you could really like meal plan here. It has different days and then a shopping list. And then what's cool is this shopping list actually serrated. Is that the right term? That feels wrong. You know what I mean? You can rip it off and actually like take it shopping with you or just take a photo of it on your phone. I'm not so plainy that I do that like each day. It's more just like having the things and a couple meals that I know I'm gonna cook that week at some point. Speaking of food, one of my favorite topics, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Thrive Market. I've been a paying customer of Thrive Market myself for years now. Like I buy the membership. I think it is totally worth it. It's basically an online membership based market where you can find such good deals. A lot of the things end up being cheaper than like physical grocery stores and it's just delivered to your door and carbon neutral shipping, order ship free over $49. You can easily sort by lifestyle, by diet, if you're gluten free, keto. I love a lot of the Thrive Market branded stuff too, like their rice cauliflower, I always get their quinoa and just like easy microwavable kind of healthier items. I feel like they make eating healthy much more just accessible and easy. And I also wanted to call out that they're actually, as of February of this year, they're the first online only retailer that is accepting SNAP EBT. They also donate a membership. So every membership that you buy, one is donated to a family in need. You can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift valued at up to $60 with my code at Taylor Wynn. I'll have it linked down below. And actually right now when this video is going up, up until April 24th, it's also the friends and family sale. So there's really good sale items and deals going on. Just a couple things I picked up, some protein powder. This is the chocolate fudge flavor. I wanted to try blonde roast coffee because I'm usually a dark roast kind of gal, but I know blonde roast actually has more caffeine than dark roast. Chips, but um, healthier alternatives, you know? These ones I always buy on Thrive and these were also on sale. These I think were new on there. I also love looking under the new section just to scope out what new snacks are on there. Poppies go on sale a lot on Thrive Market. So whenever they're on sale, I stock up. There's two different membership options. If you're billed month to month, it's $12 a month, or you can choose to be billed annually and that breaks down to $5 a month. And I'm just gonna put my savings on the screen here. This is just off this one order, how much you save. So highly recommend Thrive Market. Again, you can use the code TaylorWin at the link down below and that'll give you 30% off your first order plus a free gift valued at up to $60. And their free gifts on there are actually good. Okay, let's do a fashion item. I picked up this 
white leather skirt. It's actually like a, looks like a really light tan. This has the slit on the front and I feel like those are usually flattering like if it has any kind of slit. It does have a stretchy waistband, which is nice and the faux leather feels nice and soft actually. I am very curious about this. This is the Jolie filtered shower head. I'm pretty sure this is like viral on TikTok. I think they send it to like every influencer. I bought this myself. I'll give you guys an update on if I think, if I like see a difference, but basically, Filtered water is like way better apparently for your skin and your hair, especially where you're living. Texas water is gonna be not as great as if you're in like Lake Tahoe or something like that. So I didn't realize this, but if it's not filtered, I think it can actually strip your hair color more as well. I was looking into a bunch of different brands of these on Amazon because this is expensive, but I kind of figured if I'm gonna do this, I just wanna get a really good one. And this one does have really good reviews. I'm in an apartment right now, but when I have a home I'm bringing this with me and I'll just put it in a new shower. If you've tried a filtered shower head though, let us know down below if you feel like you saw a difference. There's this one guy I follow who uses grams for everything. And I was like over there doing all these conversions with grams. And then I'm like, I'm just gonna see if there's like an easier way to do this. So this is so cool. This is a single measuring cup that has grams, milliliters, teaspoons, tablespoons, ounces, and cups all on here. Dry ingredients or liquid. And I just feel like it's gonna make it so much easier. So probably the purchase that I'm most excited about and I was literally stocking my Amazon orders to see when this was getting delivered is the Ninja Creamy. I got the deluxe one, it's just like the most recent version basically. 11 in one ice cream and frozen drink maker. This is excessive because it is a single machine just to make basically ice cream blizzards. There are so many recipes out there, Instagram reels, TikToks on Ninja Creamy recipes where basically you can make protein ice cream that's like very high in protein. It's basically like a blizzard with like mix-ins. You can make it where like the whole pint of the Ninja Creamy is like 300 calories or under and like 40 grams of protein. Really excited to be testing different recipes and find ones that I like. I'll definitely be including the uh, the Ninja Creamy trials in vlogs. So stay tuned for that if one's not already up. It might be up before this video actually. But that's why I got the chocolate protein powder because normally my smoothies I'll just put in either plain like egg white powder. These you can buy separately. These are extra cups. So basically you can make like however many cups you have at once. So if you wanna batch make them, because they have to freeze for 24 hours before you actually blend it. So a lot of people will batch make like four to six of them for the week or for a couple weeks, freeze them. And then whenever you're ready, you just blend it. And it takes literally like two to three minutes. Here's my creamy accessories, okay? <laughs> I got strawberry extract coconut extract and cake batter extract. I'm really excited to nail like a cake batter recipe because that is my favorite, like Cold Stone cake batter with brownies, elite. So in my March favorites video, I talked about face tanning drops and how I've been starting to use those more. And I found these ones on Amazon. I have heard of this brand before and I've heard people like rave about this self tanner before, but it's the Beauty by Earth self tanner. These are the face drops in the shade light. And then this is the actual tanning mousse. I think I also got the shade light in this. It says buildable tanning foam, so I'm curious how dark the lightest shade is. I'm pretty sure the ingredients are just supposed to be a lot better than other self tanners. Oh, here's my cake batter extract. I wanted to try some new laundry products because <laughs> you guys know how I feel about laundry. I love some good smelling clothes. These are the Downy Light Ocean Mist Inwash Scent Booster. For being light, definitely still has a lot of fragrance to it. I wanna start doing my own gels and, or dip powder. Just get back into trying doing my own nails. But I wanted to get this base and top coat because I've seen a lot of salons use this exact product. The Vi Shine Gel Polish. And then I also got a bunch of spring colors. If you do your own gel nails, let me know your favorite brand of the gel polish. I also got this little kit of like the scrapey tools and this thing I used in a salon and it was actually so nice because there's all these different methods for soaking off gels. You can use like a plastic bag, the double bowl method. This thing I saw them use in a salon, it was just seemed very easy. You just put warm water in the bottom and then where your fingers are soaking, that's where you put the acetone. So the acetone is heated up, but you don't have to deal with like the mess of all of that. So I think that'll be really nice. And then it also comes in a set with like the buffing blocks and gritty nail files and like the scraping tools. So I wanted to try different pairs of shorts. Raved about one brand of shorts, the Sunzel. I love those, those are in my Amazon storefront. I just like to try different ones, see what I think. And I got some really cute springy kind of colors. 
So this is the same brand, but a different style than my other ones that I love. These are like the butt scrunch kind of ones and they're seamless. These make your butt look good. I actually ordered another color in this because I love these. Good if you don't like the seams in the front. I tried a few different short sleeve workout tops. This one is my favorite. It looked very short. If you're a short person or if you just have a short torso, because my legs are actually really long, but my torso is like this. Sometimes crop tops can be not actually cropped. So this one looks short enough to where it looks like it hits like kind of right under the boobage. I got these squirty bottle things, squeeze bottles for food, for sauce. Sometimes I wanna make it look real pretty for two reasons. One, you can pre-make, you know, dressing, sauce, whatever, and then put it in here. And two, then when you plate it, it looks so much nicer because you have a nice little fine line and you can make, make the plate look all pretty. This is probably my favorite group game to play. It's always a hit, it's code names. If you've never played it, this is a great one for like four people and up. They also make a dual version, a two person one, I haven't tried that. It's like a word game. So like one person has to explain and give clues while you're trying to connect all of your cards by giving just one word that will get your teammate to guess without guessing the other people's cards. So it's just fun because you have to think how the other person might interpret what you're saying, but then also look at the board to make sure they're not gonna potentially guess one of the other team's things. It's a fun like mind game kind of because you can just get really creative and it's just funny. Not super exciting, but I got ceiling hooks for my plants. I just got, I think these are white. Yeah, just got little white ones. I have a couple hanging plants. This is a repurchase of mine, my second bottle. This is the Madison Reed Color Therapy Hair Depositing Mask in the shade Cafe. It says, adds smoky ash tone to neutralize brassiness and brunette hair. And I've tried a few brands of these kind of color depositing conditioners at this point, and this is my favorite one. I don't just slap it on. I like to apply it like an actual color because I do want to hit all of my hair with it. So if I'm doing that, I end up using basically like three fourths of the tube. Sometimes a half if I'm like just doing the top, like I don't think I need to do the full thing every time. One of these lasts me like one every six weeks. So it's basically like coloring your hair, but you're using a color depositing conditioner instead of using like there's no developer, it's just like healthier for your hair. And I really like the color of this one, a riveting home find. This is just a power outlet. But what I liked about this one is that First of all, there's three prong ones. A lot of the power strips just don't have enough three prong. Four three prongs and then three USBs on the side. But also it is a flat white cord. So I think I'm gonna run this under the area where like the coffee machine is just to make it like a little bit cleaner looking. You should see the cords right now that I'm looking at. It's bad. So I have zero bowls right now as far as mixing bowls like for cooking and stuff. So I just picked up a set of the stainless steel mixing bowls. I liked these because they have some small ones just if you're, you know, making like a sauce or something. And then obviously bigger ones like for baking, but I really like the stainless steel bowls because they're lightweight. Also just eating salads out of, there's something about eating a salad out of a stainless steel bowl to me that's really satisfying. So this one I'm unsure if I'm keeping just because I don't know if I really have a use for it. It's a double stack, just acrylic. A lot of people will put, you know, their laptop or something on top of here, and then you can use this for storage and store things under it. But what I actually originally got this for was to keep on this desk. I have like my standing desk and then I have my makeup other desk right here. And so I kind of was originally thinking I might put actually makeup on here and like keep it on the wood desk back here just so I can easily grab some stuff, like have some white containers that I can slide out and just put my like everyday stuff in there. So I might still do that just because it does have a lot of space to do that. And I can put, you know, some like jars and stuff or like foundation bottles on the top and then some palettes and whatnot in the middles. One of the things I get asked about the most that I think is really funny because I feel like these, this kind of item has been around for years is my hot water bottle. And I ended up purchasing a second one so that when I need it, I can have one on the back of my neck and then one right on my head. But if you need heat for whatever and you need it hot, 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 I've tried all the heating pads, the electric ones, they don't get hot enough. I need to literally like scorch off my migraine. <laughs> so they do get really hot, just a warning. Like I get ear burns and stuff, but I um, don't care, it's worth it to me. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I mean, you can get them at Rite Aid and stuff, but they're like double the price. If you get it in CVS or a drugstore, they're super expensive. They're like $25 now. And on Amazon, they're around like 10 or 12. I feel like they're all pretty much the same. Like I've tried a few different brands of them. This is a different brand than the one I usually have. I'll have 
my other one linked down below too, but I liked this because it has just a black fleece outside and it's very stretchy. The other one is a, my other cover. It's a little bit harder to get on. This one is super stretchy. So even when there's water in here, like there is right now, you can still stretch and get it over. So, and you can just take off the cover and you know wash it like you would with your pillowcases. I sleep with this thing every single night under my head. Oh, batteries, very exciting. Ordered batteries. These were just a good price on batteries. The batteries these days are expensive. Oh, and then the pillows. This is the pillow I'm keeping. It breaks up the brown nicely. I'm getting a neutral rug and then I'm gonna do a colored piece of art or something, like something colored behind the bed. So I think once I have the colored thing behind the bed, it'll all come together. And this one is just a more creamy white. So I feel like it looks nice because it brings like a little bit of a warmer white tone to the room. But I ordered this pillow insert. And if you get this insert, just know that you have to unzip it and like really fluff it out. Like you want to follow the instructions that they send and really pull apart the fluff and then it'll get really nice and poofy. But yeah, I've tried so many different like iterations of pillows and blankets and whatnot. But wow, I think that's everything. I cannot wait to make a creamy tonight. I'm gonna have all the products listed down below in the description box. And if you want to check out Thrive Market, you can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift valued at up to $60 with the code TAYLORWIN. Right now it's their friends and family sale until April 24th, so you can shop that as well. So Thrive Market is also linked down below. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.